Now, in today's video, we're taking a look at the Google Pixel 4. Uh, this product was supplied to us by Google, so we're really happy to be part of Team Pixel and to have had received Pixels in the past, and especially this one, because this is the very first foldable phone from Google. Now, you all know we love, and actually one of my go-to phones is the Samsung Galaxy Fold 4. So checking out the Pixel Fold, seeing how well it compares, is going to be something that we're going to be doing. And we all know that we have a new Fold coming maybe at the end of the month, uh, coming to the following month. And when that one becomes available from Samsung, we'll also include it in our comparison. So in this video, we're going to do the unboxing. We're going to check out the features, start it up. And tonight, as Nilda and I go out to dinner, I'm going to be taking this guy with me and taking pictures and sharing them on social media so that you can see how well uh, this phone performs. So let's get right to the unboxing. Now, the first thing we're going to do is remove all the tabs. And I already started with this guy right here. And I said, oh, let me stop and do, make sure I do this all on camera. Uh, pretty excited about this one. So we're going to pull this tab right here. And uh, we're going to flip this over. Uh, this actually uh, phone is configured with, I think, 256 uh, gig. And as you see this right here, uh, really like the packaging. This looks pretty. I, I like the layout here. Has this little tab that will pull out. Ooh, nice. And it has some has some weight to it. I want to say that it weighs more than my Fold. Just so my uh, Samsung Galaxy Fold. All right, let's see what else is behind here. I'm going to move this over. Let's see, is there anything in here? I think there's stuff in here. So make sure you always check all of these little pockets you have here. And we'll see, is there anything in there? Nothing there. Let's check this side. Is there anything in here? And we're going to check and see if there's anything there. And nothing there. Let's go over here now. Anything here? A uh, little user guide. And what we have is, I really like this about uh, Google. They always send you this USB-A, uh, USB-C converter. I love these little adapters. And then here we have our USB-C to USB-C power port. All right, so we'll go ahead and unwrap it. And uh, look at this. You never know what color phone you're going to get from Google. Um, I've gotten whites, I've gotten beiges. Uh, this is, I have to say, my favorite color and I love the way this feels. Really nice satin finish in the back. You can see how you have like this chrome bezel here on the side. Uh, and we'll go ahead and open this up. And that's what the phone would look like. It does have, and we'll put this in an angle right there, see if it comes up on camera. And you can see how there's somewhat of a crease there. All right, you can see that right there. This typically disappears once you have the phone on. So let's go ahead and power that up so you can see it. So you'll notice here that you have the volume rocker, you have your power button. And I believe from what I've seen, this power button is also a fingerprint sensor. And it's a nice looking phone. All right, so let's go ahead and power this up so you can see what the power up sequence looks like. Whoa, that's bright. That is really, really bright. You can see even how my overhead camera got, uh, white balance got thrown off right there because it was so bright. Let's go ahead and turn this this way. Check that out. You see the difference? Holy moly, that was bright. All right, so here we have our Pixel. Welcome to the Pixel. Let's go ahead and get started. And this is going to be a standard um, Android uh, build, right? Except, you know, really, we're going to be leveraging all the features of a foldable phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the entire setup. I'll set it up, and then I'll come back to the video. Now, we already have our Pixel Fold set up. But before we start using it, we're going to put on a screen protector. So we're going to use this one for Spigen. This is the Glass R Easy Fit. I want to show you how easy it is to install. Now, Spigen is going to include two screen protectors. I'm just going to use one of them, which I pulled out. And they're going to include some um, cleaning uh, material or this alcohol wipe. Uh, you're going to always want to clean the screen, uh, even if it's a brand new uh, phone, just like this one is right here. So this is a brand new phone. And what I'm doing is I'm just wiping it down just to be on the safe side. And then what I'm going to do is uh, use this little towel to make sure that there are no fingerprints and everything is nice and clean. Uh, we're also gonna be putting on a case. I'm gonna be using this time around, uh, one of the cases that we reviewed on the channel from VRS Design um, as our primary case of usage. So I'm gonna wipe this down really good. Now, the other thing that I've done is I have all my vents closed, no air um, conditioning going. If you're in a state that would have, let's say, um, 
maybe heat going. I don't know if, if you would be in one of those. You want to turn all that off. Now, on the very back, you're going to notice right here that you have a little sticker that you're going to remove. And when you remove this one right here, uh, you're going to basically take this and put it right on top. Um, and then you're going to swipe in this area to stick the screen protector on the phone. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, one super tip, as you're doing this, there's going to be two protectors almost that like you can see here. One up here and then one over here. This is your screen and then this is your tab. You want to make sure that you're not pulling this one up. I may have touched the screen in the corner. We'll see if there's a fingerprint or not. But just make sure that you're aware of that as you start pulling this apart. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this apart. I am going to wipe down my screen just one more time just to make sure there isn't anything there. I'll inspect it and then I'll put the actual screen on top. Now to place it in place, we're going to move this stuff aside. We're just going to put this right here. It's going to kind of lock into place. All right, just like that. And that looks like it's good. I'll go ahead and make sure that everything looks good and you can see how it looks like on that side. See everything fits in this jig. And then all you're going to do is you're going to press and wait 30 seconds, right? So I'm going to go ahead and press and wait 30 seconds, right? Because right here, remove this, the number one, do this thing right here, just like that. And all you're doing is by doing this is you're pressing the screen to your screen, right? You're going to wait 30 seconds. And then what we're going to do is we're going to remove this side right here. So let's wait the 30. All right, so we waited the 30 seconds. We're going to remove the sticker over here in the very bottom. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to drop the actual screen onto the phone, right? And the jig is going to come out just like so right there. I'm going to lift this up. And now the screen protector should be in place. When I that there's a bubble there, I will see how that works out in a second. Turn that off. And... Turn this off so you can see what it looks like. All right, so all we're going to do is just push over to the sides right here to get rid of those, any kind of bubbles that we have. And we should be set to go. All right, next thing we'll do is we'll wipe this down. This will also will help with the pressing. Just to be on the safe side. And now, there's our screen protector. Pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look at what the operating system looks like. It's gonna be a traditional Android operating system, uh, but we'll see what's new. All right, so what you'll find is that this is gonna be a pretty basic Android setup. It's not gonna have any of the bloatware that you typically have with other applications. So if we swipe up, you'll notice that you have very little here. So you have all of your standard Android apps that you would expect, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, not a lot of space used up whatsoever. Uh, here you'll see your actual um, news area, which I, which I like. So that's pretty cool. We'll swipe back. If I were to close the screen and I come over here and let's go ahead and unlock it right there, you'll notice that you have this view of icons at the, the desktop itself. Open it up here. And then you're going to have this view. Right? A little bit different because you have the widgets here laid up. You'll notice that there's a little popping going on right here, just letting me know that there is some functions that I can play with. I haven't gone into this yet. And then if we take a look at how much space is left, it should tell us what we have from the 256. Now, I went into my files just to give us a sense of what's left. So you notice that the 256, we have 238 gig. That's not bad. So you have a lot of space left over for photos, for media, and for everything else you'd like to uh, uh, consume. Now, as we take a look at this phone, uh, a couple of things that I'll highlight here, and let me just switch out of it. Um, you know, what I like about these type of phones and I really enjoy it a lot is the fact that when I have a foldable phone, I rarely use my tablet because I use the phone more as a tablet. I tend to use it more in the tablet form factor than not. Now, the one thing I will say about the Pixel is uh, Fold is that it has the best and largest front facing display when it comes to Pixel or when it comes to foldable phones. So I'm going to see, um, I think I have my Fold in my pocket. And uh, just to give you a sense of the difference here, so this right here is my Samsung Galaxy Fold 4, and this is the Pixel Fold. You'll notice the big difference here is that this has a candy bar style type screen, and the screen is just decent in size, right? So you can see you have a really long screen, but it's very narrow. Over here, you have a very wide screen. 
And this is going to work more like a standard phone. This for me, probably you can even use it more in this mode than you can in the open mode. Now, when we open these up, and this guy's going to have a lot of fingerprints. Go ahead and clean that off just a little bit. Um, I've just been using this one a lot. Lock it. What I like about this is that I have two different desktops. So here's my one view. And then here is the Pixel Fold internal view. Let's go ahead and unlock it. So you can see what they look like side by side. Now this phone is more landscape mode as soon as you open it. So for example, if I take my fold this way, it is very similar like that. Matter of fact, if we were to put them side by side, let's go ahead and do that. And you put them like this. Notice this. Isn't that interesting? Um, they're almost covering the same screen real estate like this, right? Uh, the difference is though, this, when you open up the fold, uh, the pixel fold, it says if it was in landscape already. So I typically, when I'm using my, again, my Samsung that I have over here, I'm maybe opening it like this. And then when I want to get more content, I will rotate it. With the Pixel Fold, you're already in that landscape mode. So you're getting the most amount of real estate. Uh, the other thing that I'll highlight here that you'll notice is that you do have a bezel. So you have a bezel going all the way around. And the bezel seems to be a little bit larger than what you get from Samsung. But I actually think that you know, now that I'm playing with it and looking at it, it's not something that bothers me uh, because we look at the placement of my hand here. My hand is covering that frame area anyway. So it's not like I'm losing any pixels and I'm not missing any pixels either. So that's another nice feature there. So uh, that's something interesting. Now we'll be playing with this and I'm going to come up with videos that will be the first things to do when you get your fold battery management, tips and tricks, all those kinds of things. Uh, but for now, uh, this looks great. Uh, the biggest thing that I like about it, I would say right now, is going to be this front-facing screen. I think this front-facing screen is pretty awesome. And you'll see how it really is a full-functioning phone in the front. Now, one of the things that we also did is we upgraded to Android 14, uh, which is in beta right now. But as a Pixel uh, owner you can actually upgrade and take advantage of having early access to the beta versions of the Android operating system. And we've done that. And the benefits is that we've been able to get better battery life and overall, I think, a better experience, even though this is in beta form. So the operating system, uh, Android 14, is working really well on the fold. Now, pixels are known for photo quality, and you just can't do an unboxing without showing what the photos look like. And this is not going to disappoint. Now, I haven't done a comparison side by side between pixels to pixels or even looking at this compared to the Fold uh, from Samsung. But overall, you'll be happy with the photo quality that you see here. So let me show you some of the pictures. Now, what you see here is um, we have a nature reserve or, or wildlife walk by our home. And what we did is we started taking some pictures. And you can see here the overall quality. This thing looks pretty sharp. You can see the overall quality there. It looks pretty nice. And you notice all the detail that we have. We're going to go into the next photo. So this is uh, just testing out the stabilization. I wanted to see how well the video stabilization will work. So I'm just walking. And you'll notice uh, I thought the stabilization was really good. Over here, here's another photo that we took a picture of. Doing really, really remarkably well. Um, again, this is a really quick uh, walk and shoot. And here is another one right here. And I love the way that, you know, just with the larger screen, full screen, as you see right here, this gives me a better experience when it comes to just uh, viewing uh, content like this. So let's go back to this. Here you'll see another one. You can see the detail that we have there. I uh, know that I did actually a recording, a uh, podcast recording with this. And then here is a picture of our dog, Miko. And look how nice this photo is. And picture of Miko. Miko does have a blue eye. So there's no nothing going on there that's kind of weird. It's just um, that's the color of his eye. And he is a Merle Pomeranian. And you can see, uh, again, how nice this photo came out. Uh, we also did some videos. And I'm going to shift over to some of the videos um, that you can see right here. And we'll go ahead and pass this up. And we're, we're doing a walk. And I just wanted to see how well would the stabilization work. And you can see the overall experience. I'll just zoom this up a little bit so it takes the full screen. And you can see, this is just me walking, holding the phone in my hand, and recording. I thought it did a great job. Here's another shot of me walking as well. And this time I'm walking a little bit more briskly because I just wanted to see if uh, if walking faster, anything would get affected and nothing really did. 
And then I did it is I, I was taking just some movement shots of Nilda as we were passing by and wanted to see, again, what kind of quality we would get. Just really focusing sun. Now, this is going to be a great um, a great photo or a great video that you could use with CapCut, for example. Here's you coming from behind a tree and then Nilda is walking by and you saw how well the camera focused immediately on her. It went from that blurry view to uh, now Nilda walking past us. So that's, uh, that's another uh, good shot right there. She's sitting down right here and again, just doing a pan. So overall, when it comes to camera quality, you won't be disappointed with the fold. Now from an experience perspective, uh, you're gonna have a great also experience when it comes to just navigation. And as I'm looking at the fold here, a couple things that we'll highlight. So it's right now in full view and there's a couple things that you can do. When I swipe up, I can actually go back to the camera uh, or to the, to the uh, I say Google Photos as I was, but you'll notice there's a couple things that you see here. Uh, if I tap in this area right here that you're gonna see in a second, um, I notice that there's two, two icons on top of this grouping, and that's because this is a dual view. I have a side-by-side -side view. I'm gonna select it, and you'll notice that how I have these side-by-side. -side. So I have TikTok open, and I also then have on this side, I have, um, what is it, Instagram open. So I have two that I can actually go to side by side and I can actually switch and I can manipulate this. Or what I could do is I could just go to a different application. So you can have that side by side type feature. And if I were to open up the camera right here, you'll notice that I have the full camera view here. And then if I were to put it this way and then just open it up, you'll notice that you'll get kind of like your controls on the bottom and it's gonna kind of like flip. So basically your controls, if you're watching YouTube, the same thing is going to happen. The YouTube controls are on the bottom and the viewing is on the top. If I were to close the phone and come back, the actual uh, phone will adjust itself. And now I have my camera mode is now in the standard screen. And the standard screen is a great screen. I think it has the best front facing screen of any foldable on the market. Uh, that was our unboxing first impressions of the Google Pixel Fold. Uh, we'll have more videos coming. Thanks to Google for supplying this phone for us to have on our channel and experience. And we'll see you in the next video.